right, good morning. We're um, outside of uh, Birmingham. No, yeah, Birmingham on I-20 at the Loves. Uh, we're going somewhere, and I don't think I've been. We're going to go pick up our load going home. we got to go to Stark, Starkville, Mississippi. And I'm not too sure how to get over there. So I had to get the Atlas out. I know I get comments. You're still using Atlas? Well, sometimes I like to be able to see where the roads are going. But uh, that's what we're doing here. Let me get everything set up here. Okay. All right, I think we got everything set up here. Coffee. I got Bailey. She's been took care of. Now let's make our way out of this. Loves. This is uh. We got here about oh three o'clock yesterday. So uh, it wasn't too busy. But all these little truck stops, Loves, Pilots, they all fill up fast, and you end up with trucks parking everywhere. So I always try to give me a good parking spot that I can easily get in and out of and that the person next to me can park easy. But we'll ride through the parking lot here. So you guys can see all the trucks. So we're going to go load this. I'm supposed to pick up, uh, I think it's fiber optic cable. It's some kind of cable on reels. Uh, we're going to go pick it up and take it to Phoenix. Our goal today is to load this and get somewhere in Louisiana. The further the better in Louisiana. What oh, that truck's missing his wheels. That's the goal today. If we can get somewhere good, feet, slide right toward Alabama 216. If we can get somewhere good into uh, Louisiana, that'll put us a thousand miles from the or two th about twelve hundred miles from the house. There we go. Which means we could probably make it home Sunday night and then leave Monday to go up to Phoenix. It's about 150 miles. Alright, that was a little drive to the truck stop. Let's uh let's go, go load our cable. Hopefully it goes pretty good today.
All right, it's the end of the day. We made it to this nice big rest area in Louisiana. At, uh, where are we at? I'm trying to think of the name of the town. Anyway, we're about 100 miles from Shreveport on I-20. Nice big rest area. We loaded our uh, reels of cable. Come out real nice. They, uh, I thought it was going to be a little heavier. I think it's only about 26,000 pounds. Uh, these J-hooks sure do make it a lot easier. Makes it look a lot nicer too. A lot neater, I should say. But uh, as you can see, J-hooks go on the track. And hook the hooks up to there. They're load rated. 7,600 pounds. So... But they're all riding good. And then my little black mark, I went ahead and put it in the center. They're riding good. Uh, from right here, I got 1,200 miles to the house. So we'll knock out 600 miles tomorrow. And 600 miles on Sunday. You see that leak right there? I, uh, I know the generator's running, but I thought that leak was coming from inside the truck and I believe it's coming it's leaking down through here because it only leaks when it's raining or when I get the truck wash and it rained over in Louisville and that water is getting down under the floor that's something I'm gonna work on when I get home other than that everything seems to be doing pretty good all right it's a little quieter in here Oh, um, I got a lot of comments in my last video. Said I look wore out, and they want to know. People want to know why I was crawling on my hands and knees, rolling up that tarp. I hurt my back loading that steel plate. Uh, let me back up a little bit more. Back in 2001, I injured my back. I was doing household goods at the time, and uh, I injured my back real bad. And ever since then, about once or twice a year, I will tweak my back just enough that I am in a lot of pain for about three days. And uh, that whole last week, the whole weekend, I loaded that stuff on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was in pain, a lot of pain. <laughs> and I just powered through it. Yesterday, I felt better. Today I still feel a little better um, doing this, kind of my back's just a little bit sore. But it's just a battle scar I have from a long time ago doing household goods. I was carrying a sleeper sofa with a guy and I just tweaked my back wrong and it was like that for a while. So that's why you see me crawling my hands and knees sometimes. But I know you guys don't want to hear me complain all the time about being sore. And yeah, I'm getting old. But uh, another comment I get a lot is, especially on this last video, was why do I do flatbed and why don't I do van? I do flatbed because I honestly enjoy the exercise. I enjoy the challenge of putting the stuff on the truck. Rates are usually better on flatbed. Um, so I just do it because I enjoy it. Um, I'm not saying van's bad, but I just, I, I, me personally, I like the exercise I like the work I like to get out and sweat I like getting dirty so that's one reason why I do flatbed it's really not a money issue a lot of people say oh you must make so much more doing flatbed I probably make about the same as a guy doing van uh, especially <laughs> during the last couple years you van guys were killing it you van guys were doing better in flatbed I think that's the tide starting to change a little bit I do believe uh, the, the rates are really going down and it'll go back to where vans make just a little bit more but you go back out west out of Arizona van rates are higher out of Arizona than flatbed rates out of Arizona it's simple supply and demand that's what it is so anyway all right that's enough um, I'm gonna take a shower that's one thing I like about this truck I'm hot and sweaty. I can take me a nice hot shower. We're at this nice rest area. 
filled up my water tank when I got fuel today. So, uh, and I'm going to have me a salad for dinner. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.